Yeah, hello, welcome back, guys. So let's carry on from where we left off. All right, so I'm going to. So I would like to create a new, a new layer. I'm noticing now that the eyes just looks quite flat. <clears throat> I'll need some details for the eye, so I don't want the eye to be this flat. It looks flattened out. So I'm going for now. I'm going to turn off this base pause for now, and I'll create. Make sure this on the highest subdivision level, which it is. And create a new layer. I'll just name this to wrinkles. This is why I turn off the base layer for the skin pores because I don't want to tamper with it. So I'll go to the lower subdivision level. Turn off symmetry. Make sure this standard brush is on. <clears throat> So let me start with okay. Let's use the move brush first. No, just want to tackle the top parts, blow that out. It should be out a bit more so I can at least see the thickness of the eye around it. The eye thickness should be a bit visible. Okay. Take down the brush size and seal to this up. Feels like it's overly extended on the edge. Forward a bit more. Say something like this should be fine. I'll do this for the other side also. Something like that. Forward a bit, okay. And the thickness of the eye should be out a bit more. All right. Do the same for the top parts. Do the same for this other part too. So get a closer view on this. Yeah, something like this should be fine. I see the depth around the eyes. I need to. Oh, actually, actually have that depth in there, but it's not so much in here. So let me just accentuate this a bit more. Let's increase the subdivision level. Let's see. Yeah, something's actually in there. In there now. Maybe I push this way to out way too much. Okay. 
Okay. So we are to add wrinkles on top of this. So that's what we are going to do. Just want to make sure the thickness of the eye is, is visible in there. <coughs> Okay, so I'm going to use the damn standard brush to accentuate with this line a bit more. Don't know if I do that too much though. This from the top also. So I'm holding out while using the while using the damn standard brush. Okay. Move, move brush let's get this out some <clears throat> some more like so yeah something like this should be fine so trying to accentuate some of the wrinkles in there so let's you can see one and two Let's get that in there. This one is just one and so around here. So let's do that. Let's get that in. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's start with this. Let's start with this. So let's go some subdivision level higher. Maybe a bit one step higher. Uh, let's go one step lower, though. Let's go one subdivision. What is this? What did I? What did I just press? What did I just press? Come on. Okay. 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 No, oh, interesting. So let's go one subdivision level lower for this. And I will use the ten standard brush. Let's get some wrinkle around here. Mm. That doesn't feel that doesn't feel completely right yet. Maybe let me use this instead. I mean the blink material instead. That felt too deep. <clears throat> also, I would like to Go and our subdivision level lower and smooth this uh, smooth tendency is way too high. So let me take this down, smooth this like so. Then let's go some subdivision level higher again. I'm just going to do oh my intensity is way too high. Intensity of the brush is way too high. So I'm taking that to 14. Let's see what we have. Okay, I'm getting something in there. Reduce the brush size some more. Alright. So 
something a bit small like around here yeah that seems fine let's go to the other side probably do this from out in here like so then increase the brush size you can see a large one around here Uh, why is it in the opposite? So holding, no. Probably is the glancing angle. Uh, it needs to be somewhat like so. So zoom in out and then I'll zoom back and kind of see what we have. Smooth this out on the edge. Just to have a better transition around it. Then I'm going to use a smaller brush size. And just do something around here also. Okay, something like that should be fine. Yeah, that should work just fine. So if I go one subdivision level higher, increasing the subdivision level now, now you can see how faint it is in there, which is still fine. So I'm not going to reduce the brush size a bit more, probably with more intensity, and just draw on top of that, create something a bit slimmer. Let me zoom in some more. Small are just trying to go over what I've done before. And this should be fine. No, let's do this again. Okay. Let me do that again. No, that's not accurate enough. Yeah, something like this should be fine. All right. So let's go one subdivision. Let's go subdivision level lower. Since somewhere around here instead. On the edge, I'm going to create something around the edge also, something around here. No. Do that again. Something like this. Probably a bit deeper, like so. Smooth this part out. Let's zoom out some more. Let's see what that how that looks from a distance. Should probably fill that up. No, not like so. <clears throat> okay. Should kind of replicate that on the other side, I think. Smooth that out some more. And I'm looking at this, I feel like I'm supposed to have another. So I'm trying to figure out how deep this side should be. Side of the eye should be. I don't know if. Okay. Smooth that transition around there.
probably smooth this out some more. So it doesn't feel like it's dragging down way too much. Let's increase the subdivision level. Let's see what we have. Yeah, this should be fine. So let's do a quick save again. I think now we can can gracefully add the skin pause detail now. So let me just push this up here like so. Let me get this around here. So we need to be on the higher subdivision level for this. So on the higher subdivision level, we're going to create a new. We're going to create a new. Let's see. Let's create a new layer in here. And I'll just name this to X Y Z pause. Okay. Okay, that's good. Then let's begin to use the map for this. So I don't know if you guys can see this though. Let me zoom in. So we have different region. Let me see if I can. Let me open this up. Make sure I'm on standard brush first. Change this to drag rec. Light box. Alpha. X Y Z X Y Z X Y X Y Z. One seventy five skin alpha. So I'm going to be using the twenty twenties mil here. Okay, let's use this twenties female. O one. Uh, so what we get in there when we're when we're trying to use that is something similar to this. You can see how it's properly numbered for separate regions of the face. Let me see if I can. Separate regions of the face because the face is a bit flattened out here. So you can see this is a lip, obviously. So I'm sure you guys can see this. So 13, 14. But I'm going to be using this symmetrically though. So this just maps out different regions of the face that we can just reuse for so specific regions of the face. Though I'm still going to use. I'm still going to repeat them for some other parts of the region of the face, though. But for the most part, I'm sure you guys get the idea. Let me put this aside. It's probably even hide, put this all the way up here for now. So I'm I'm using this female face 2001. There's another female face 2009 here, but this is the old one instead. So for Let's start from uh oh yeah I don't I'm not sure I don't think I'm done with the wrinkles though. No, I'm not done with the wrinkles. If I do the if I do this, I'm supposed to there should be some wrinkles on the forehead, yes. I see some wrinkles on the forehead I need to block in there. So let's go back to the wrinkles. Let's go back to the ring because we're not done with that yet. Put this around here. So I'll do this on the lower subdivision level. So let's go to subdivision level. The subdivision level is this 04, which is around nine, almost 1 million poly polygons or so active points around here. So I think we have. Oh. Them standard brush other. Now that's way to reduce that. Let me use the mask up gray. 
Let's see that around here. Down that one around here. Let's see if we can get another one around here. Get some around here also. Let's go on subdivision level higher. It's not very, it's not so obvious, but still, it's still there, which is precisely what I want. Go lower now. Just create some shrill ones around here. Around here also. Some of these are not going to be that visible when we kind of when we kind of add some of this <coughs> some of those skin post detail on top of it. So I think this should be fine for now. This should be more or less fine for now. Let me not go overboard on that. That should be fine for now. Let's go on subdivision level higher again. Yeah, this a little one is supposed to be around this. Let me reduce the brush size again. Now it's supposed to be around here. Something like that. Not very obvious, but she still be in there. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Also for the neck region. No, let me do that. It's almost like it's completely invisible though, but still need to have something in there. Probably turn on symmetry for this. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Turn off symmetry. We're going to have some bits here around here also. Just to define those crease. Make sure those crease are properly defined with some wrinkles in there. Move this aside. Let's zoom out some more. Something like so. Maybe something almost almost invincible in the center. Something almost invincible in the center, like so. Yeah, that should be fine. I think we need more. <clears throat> we need something similar also on that. Let me turn on the symmetry for this. Around here. Need something around here. And around the corners of the nose also. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that should work just fine. <coughs> that should work. Just, 
that should work just fine. Yes, somewhere else you need to do this also. I'm not completely certain though. Not to smooth this, <coughs> smooth out the air a bit more. Okay, that should be fine. Let's see. Was he going to come back and add more wrinkles though later on after adding the texture next XYZ skin first? But I think for now this should work just fine. Maybe do the same around here. A smaller brush size, get a closer view in here. Smoon that out. This smaller brush size. But that's not completely accurate though, but let's just try to have, let's, let's get something in there at the very least. Let's do subdivision level lower for this. Turn of symmetry. Smooth this down. Turn on symmetry and then smooth this down. Turn on symmetry, smooth this down some more. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to come back. In the next text, I'm going to be working on actually using the texture next as in maps to kind of cover up or fill up the face and get some better looking or some yeah some better looking skin pores detail around top of this so i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now